morning everybody this is Bernie from Tauranga Wellness Clinic Stamp and Eat and this morning I am going to be showing you I just want to check is my yep oh good I can't always see if my camera is recording or not um, so I didn't want to go through the whole process and not show you not record anything so welcome welcome it's a beautiful winter morning here in Taronga, we have had some very, very cold mornings. It actually reminds me of my childhood, having the clear sunny skies, the frost on the ground, and just chilly, chilly mornings. So, um, very refreshing. Um, really have enjoyed it. So, I hope wherever you are, wherever you're watching this, you are having um, equally nice weather. So, what I'm going to show you today is this card. Um, so this features the beautiful bloom where you are planted paper now. I just want to show you how clever this paper is. So there's some amazing sheets. So you can see I've done some cutting out on some of them and you can do some fussy cutting and I'll show you a card that I copied um, on the internet the other yesterday. There's some wood prints. I'm just checking if the light's good enough. Some more. Stamping Up is so clever now. They've actually created dies that fit into these pots. Um, so there's, some clip. there's the paper we're going to be featuring today. So that is stunning. The reverse has got sort of a brick look. More of that one. Here's a dark green. I haven't yet used it, but that would really look good with Christmassy brick, which I'm going to feature in a different card. This one's clever. This one you can cut in half and get four cards. Sort of a grey, looks almost like a tile. So um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful papers. I actually fell in love with this set when I saw it in the catalog um, when we got a sneak preview as demonstrators and I thought I love it we're going to be using the Plenty Pupil Plants stamp set now these have got such a retro look to them um, so they are photopolymers and it also comes if you buy it in the bundle with the perfect plants die where you've got hanging baskets you've got um, dies that match with the papers with match with the stamps they've really just given such a lot of thought and we're also going to feature the stitched shape dies um hmm. i'm not sure if these are in the catalog to be honest but i'm going to be using the um, square one today so this is a very simple card actually really simple and i just um came up with this idea because I wanted to do something different with the dies so as you can see it's got a bit of a glimmer to it and it features the copper embossing powder that comes in a set of three it's got the gold the silver and the copper the metallics and I've also used um, we've done a little bit of embossing there and I've um, used my blending brush and the just jade stamping pad so let's get started so it's my normal measurements and we the base is um evening evergreen and i've cut that to five and a half by eight scored at four so you'll just fold that in half and burnish that sorry for bumping the camera and then i've cut i'll just i'm going to do two cards at the same time um, before I carry on though let me just say if you are watching for the first time welcome um, as I mentioned I am Bernie and I do um, stamping make cards I've been making cards for oh, 20 odd years now um, but I've only been using stamping up I shouldn't say only because it has been over 14 years but I've only just recently, the last six months, joined Stamping Up as a demonstrator. Um, so I can be found, some of my other projects can be found at Tauranga Wellness Clinic. So this is on my website for my clinic. 
you will find it under the stamp and eat column. Why stamp and eat? Because I love combining the fact that I do nutritional work and um, classes as well under co.nz and if you go and look you'll see there's Bernie's craft room and that's where you'll find them. There's also Bernie's recipes and you are welcome to click on those and um, help yourself. They're there, they're free. I was really chuffed the other day. I managed to create my own blog on my website. For the first time I did not have to actually call in the aid of my IT son, um, who beautifully designed my website by the way, big shout out to Jeff, but I self taught myself to do my blog and I am super chuffed about that. Right, I'm just turning on a bit of light. So black cardstock going to mat, so when you've got four inches wide and five and a half um, that way, I just take it in a quarter of an inch so you'll have a little less so that it's blocked and then the DSP or the designer series paper I've just cut it even a little bit smaller but all the measurements will be on my website and have a look at that you could even change it around but today I want the dark green so I can't believe how quickly the months have flown so we are now what's it, the second of July already um, yeah, halfway through the year. It's quite frightening. My mum sent me, my mum lives in South Africa, and she sent me a um, very frightening update on one of my cousins that still lives there and lives in Johannesburg. And she was caught in the middle of a big um, hijacking crossfire. Her car was shot at. Um, yeah, it was quite scary, um, and she managed to escape with her life. It just, oh, just was quite shocking actually, just to just read and just hear of that again. Um, just how violent things are there. I'm just looking. That's slightly skill. I'm just going to quickly use my bone folder just because it was slightly off. Alright, look how easy that is and you've already got an effective card just by doing cardstock, so evening evergreen, that's going to be the inside, matted with black cardstock and then the designer series paper. So to get this very pretty little um, design, we go. I'm going to emboss it, but before I do that, you need to cut out the square out of the stitched shapes and I used, just want to check, nope, I used the big one. So funny, I usually write these things down, so I'm going to create a frame. Let me just get my black cardstock, hold on. I normally keep scraps. I've shown you before my little scrap folder, but I don't have a scrap big enough, so I'm going to need to use a mat. So I'm just going to run this through my cut and emboss machine, and I've got a new one. I've got a new one. So excited. And yes, they do make a huge difference. A massive, huge difference. Just make sure if you do buy yourself one that you use the um, layers correctly. So I'm going to glue that on there because, just make sure it's orientated correctly. Yeah, because all the work, and I love it that it's all stitched. Can you see that? I can't see the, the light um, coming into my craft room. My craft room faces east. And the light, the natural light coming in at this time of the morning is really tricky to judge whether what you can see or can't see. So I'm sorry. Okay. Now using shimmer paper. Actually, am I going to use the shimmer paper or am I going to use the plain? 
Let me think, let me think. No, I'm going to use normal plain. Normal plain white cardstock. I'm not going to use a shimmer. I do have a shimmy, which I've had for many years. Also going to use some Versamark to do the embossing. And what have I done with my stamps? This is always the story of my life. Right, so we're going to use this stamp. I'm going to use the pot. The pot, we're doing the pot again. I'm going to use that stamp. And that stamp. So I am, let's do the leaf first. So put some Versa mark on. Let's get my pad. So we're going to do the ones that are all going to be in the copper first. And then I will show you how to do the, um, the jade. Taken my little car in for a service today. In New Zealand, we've got a Got to have it done every year. I've had my little card 10 years this year, this July. Her name is Getsy. She's a little green car. And I cheesily say she gets me from A to B. I'm sorry, that's really corny, I know. But she does. She has been very faithful, my little Getsy. Love her to bits. Taught my boys to drive in her. Oops, no, don't put that away. And I'm just going to set that to the side because I just want to stamp up all the Versa marks and then we'll be able to do them all at once. Um, it's a manual car. And yeah, both of my boys have learned to drive in her. And she's. So spacious that I can fit a 60 centimeter dishwasher. I have fitted my 60 centimeter washing machine. I just want to make sure I fit these all in. So yeah, she has been a very reliable little car and very, very economical. And I must say, I am not entirely impressed with the... Um, this is take three, so my phone is not a happy camper today. So I am going to, so what you missed was me showing you that I'm going to emboss. So I'm just going to emboss this white and um, then I'm going to do the copper off camera and come back. So let's try this again because it didn't like me. Embossing tool. Uh, right, I'll do the copper off, but I just wanted to show you. So there you can see that it's nicely and, and it should be fine to touch. So I'll let that dry. I'm going to pause the camera, do the copper and come back. Okie dokie. So there's the copper. It's got a nice shimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm going to use that die from the die cuts. We're going to use the pot. And we're going to use this die that goes around the little flowers. I'm going to pause this because my phone seems to have minimal um, storage. So just to save storage, I'm just going to pause this, come back. So I'll be back soon. Righto, so here I've got my leaf, my pot, 
and we've got these bits so I'm just going to set that to the side with the um, white one I'm going to take my stamping up pad my blending brush and just lightly with the just jade I'm literally going over the white of the um, embossed so you can see how it picks up a little bit and I'm happy with that I don't need a lot a lot I'm just wondering that maybe I actually did soft succulent on the last one if I compare them yeah I think the other one I picked up on the soft succulent that's fine that is fine that's not a problem I'm now going to cut this out with this die so I will be back soon Doki, I definitely think I used soft succulent look at the difference in the colors there that is fabulous we're going to get a different look now in order to build this up I actually started it um, back to front so let me, make, let me explain myself so I first glued that on and then I built it like a um, yeah I sort of positioned it so each piece was built on the previous piece which was that sort of turned because you don't want it looking sticky like stick insects something like that so I'm going to turn it over and we're going to build it slowly so what you missed because my camera ran out of data and now I'm looking like paranoid checking that the time is still ticking on my timer was that you missed my little rant that I had said that my little Hyundai Getsy was going for a service today and that she'd given me so many years and was so economical and with effect from yesterday the 1st of July in New Zealand it's now being encouraged and has been Put into law that we need to replace our petrol vehicles with hybrids or full electricals and I'm yeah I just actually don't know how people are going to be able to afford to purchase a $60,000 vehicle so that's the one issue I have and then the other issue I have is that I find it fascinating that this law has been brought in and yet the car companies I'll just tuck that one just move it in like that the car companies are saying I think it was Toyota that was um, the big bots were saying well the reality is that they actually don't have enough stock <sighs> so I just Look at that. What do you think? Slightly different. We'll go with that one. Um, slightly different look. So it's quite full at the back here, which gives it the whole 3D. And what I'm going to do is we're going to pop dimensionals. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think? Is it a good thing? Um... How are people going to afford to pay for these cars? Um, yeah, you know, just um, I would be interested to hear your thoughts. I think it's going to be an interesting transition. Um, yeah, I'm not convinced of the logic behind it, to be honest. So I'm just going to pop, I think I need one more dimensional over here. 
You don't want it too flat because you do want to create a bit, you know, that whole 3D. What you can't feel is the stickiness of my fingers from dealing with the Tombow glue. Um, so, I was just thinking that when I dropped my car off this morning. You know, what's going to happen to the mechanics? Um, all the people that are affected. The other thing that happened in Tauranga yesterday was we got a new waste delivery service and you know, that's also now taken people out of jobs in our local economy. And you know as a small business owner myself um, you don't think about these things until you actually own your own business. What am I going to do now? I'm going to add these in jewels. I'm loving these in jewels. So I'm going to put a little bit of soft succulent. We'll pop one here. So here, you know, if you're listening to watching this, I really want to encourage you wherever you are, can you please think about supporting your local businesses? You know, those are real, real people that are trying desperately to support their families. And the more we um, support buying a lot of stuff online and supporting big businesses, um, you're putting little people out of business. So just if you could think about that, that would be awesome. So, yeah, it's looking slightly different. Inside the card, I have done the same thing. I've embossed, but I want to show you what I did here. So, I put my stamp, and then I've created a little mask. And then you put the mask with post, um, post-it notes, and then you stamp above it with your Versamark. So, I will show you how to do that. And then I will emboss it with the copper. Um... Yeah, it's just stuff to think about, you know, like I say, before I own, well, no, that's not entirely true. I have always, always supported small businesses. Um, I've just always just had a natural inclination to do that because I've, I don't know, maybe just instinctively have felt, known that that's where um, the future of our economy lies. So, Pop it on, is this on the camera? Pop it on, so you're putting your, I've inked this with Versamark because I'm going to do the copper. So what you have to do first, if you're going to follow this, is you first have to emboss it. Otherwise you're going to um, rub off all the embossing powder. So emboss it first. If you find that you've got like over here a little spot, all I do is I use a soft paintbrush and I just gently brush it off. Don't use your finger, you will mess and you will smudge. Alright, so I'm just going to pause um, the recording while I emboss it and I'll come back and show you how to do the mask. Okay, so I've got my pot. Now I take... I've done it. Oh, there it is. I'm like forever not finding stuff. So you've got your pot and you literally put it over the other pot. So you've created a little mask. Now you take your leaf and you ink it up in exactly the same way as what you would. Actually, I'm going to use the smaller leaf. Just thinking about that. Big one's going to be off balance. So, a mark. So, you're holding down your pot and you come over where the leaf. So, what I'm saying is the stem is going to be tucked in. So, you're actually going to come over your mask so that the leaves are where you want them to be and you I've just realized that. hello everyone 
This has been an incredible recording session. So uh, my camera conked out again. Even though I keep deleting and taking stuff out of storage, I honestly don't know what's going on. Needless to say, I finished the card. I'm not going to um, go any further with this recording other than to show you the card. It's finished. I stamped it and embossed it as I was busy showing you before it conked out again. And I'm going to finish here by saying thank you for your patience. I hope it hasn't been too disjointed. This is a card that we're going to look at making next time. I cased this off the internet. This is not a original design, but I absolutely adore it. It's so easy to make. So watch this space in a fortnight where we do that. In the meantime, on this glorious Friday, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe at the button below if you haven't already done that. I value your support. And until we meet again, this is Bernie from Stamp and Eat saying remember, stamp, eat, sleep, repeat.